In this video, we'll show you how you can set up your Enoscope to send real-time energy consumption data to the Watson IoT platform using the MQTT protocol. Before you start, you'll need an Enoscope, which has already been activated and set up with one or more meters, and which is connected to the internet, a computer with a web browser that is connected to the same local network as the Enoscope, and an IBM cloud account with Watson IoT platform. Firstly, you need to configure your device in the Watson IoT platform. Go to the Devices section. And before you can create the device, you must create a device type. So navigate to Device Types and click the Add Device Type button. Choose a name for your device type. In this example, we're using Enoscope Type. Optionally, you can also add a description. On the next screen, if you wish, you can add some additional information about the model of device. We're leaving this blank. Once the device type is created, you can now create devices of that type. Choose the device type from the drop down list and enter a name for your unique device. In this example, we're using Enoscope 01. You can also provide some additional information about this device here. Again, we're leaving this screen blank. For the authentication token, there are two options. You can either leave this field blank and allow the Watson platform to generate a token for you, or provide your own authentication token. We're going to leave this field blank and let Watson design, generate a token for us. Now review the details from the previous screens and then press Done. Now the device has been created and you can see the information about the type and the device name here. Make sure that you keep a note of this authentication token and copy it somewhere safe. Once you leave this screen, you will not be able to retrieve this token. Next, on a computer that is connected to the same local network as your Enoscope, navigate to the admin screen. The address will take the form of the IP address of the Enoscope slash admin with a capital A. Enter your administration credentials and log in. You should see a list of all the meters that you have configured on your Enoscope. In the right hand side, choose MQTT settings. This is where you add the information to connect to the IBM platform. Give this configuration a title. You can have more than one configuration. And check the box for enabled. Select the meters that you wish to send data for. And the interval in seconds between each message. Since we're going to send data once a minute, this value is 60. Next, you need the host information for the Watson IoT platform. The port should be 1883. And the username will always be use-token-auth. The password is the authentication token that you copied from the previous screens. And the topic is the address to send the data to, following IBM's strict guidelines. In this example, we have IoT-2 slash type slash Enoscope type, which is our device type, slash ID slash Enoscope01 which is our device ID, slash EVT, slash readings. Now, readings is the name we have chosen for this event. You can use any name you like. Lastly, we input the ID, which takes the form D, colon, organization ID, colon, device type, colon, device ID. Once that information is all entered, press the Save All button.
Once your device starts sending data to the Watson IoT platform, you should be able to see in the Devices section this data coming in. Click on the device that you configured previously. You can see the information about it here. And under the Recent Events and Logs tabs, you should see the data as it comes into the platform.